there's two locks. Oh, watch out for these ones, they're annoying. Just find a power pellet and get the hell out of this. Using any power pellet disables ghosts in the area that you're in, okay, so... If there's two floors of ghosts, then yeah. I had a fine life here as a young ghost. I learned basic, basic levitation, levitation scary and surprising, spooky noises, all here. here. Oh, great times. Try to collect as much points as possible. You don't gain anything if you get a ton of points. It's just for fun. Of course, wherever there's ghosts, there's usually bound to be a ton of. Um. That was a perfect spin there. Now, yeah, let's continue. Uh oh. Are these the blinkers? I found that the blinkers, yes. Blinkers are annoying, I can tell you. They basically what happens is when you stand on them, they'll vanish. Yes, they're blinkers. That's, these are blinker platforms. They'll only last for a short amount of time, so they'll move fast. This is what happens. They appear back again anyway, so it comes the next set of blinker platforms. You even have to jump over some of them. The ones where you have to jump um, last longer. I hate blinker platforms, so they're annoying. Because if you make a mistake, you have to start from the beginning. I'm just being careful here. Fuck. Oh, there's another. Whenever you see one of these platform uh, switchy things, it means there's blinkers nearby. More cherry collecting. They're simply. Oh god, these. I mean, the colours on my TV are much brighter than what they are in the Dazzle, but that's not a problem. The colour, the colour I feel is still there. Gotta race along, along these platforms quite quickly. And a smaller number to there. I'm going to jump some. Some blinker platforms last shorter than others. As soon as we come up here, that activates another side thing. Oh, fuck. Come here.
got a, a wedge. There we go. Done. Oh, a green crystal. That just leads you up to that, so no harm done. Now where does this go? Oh look at that, it's a crossy one. Well that was a weird cavern. Sure. Oh now these ones up here. I need to take out a weird route. I can tie some of these things. Unnecessarily windy, but just skip some of them. I mean this is not really necessary to be honest, but the uh, Make it longer for no reason at all. But look at that true, that's true colour. That's true space, I can tell you. True space is how it have these nice, vibrant, nebulae kind of colours. It makes you feel like you are actually in a nebula. Quite literally. Oh, a save point. I'll take a save after I've just been taking these. There we go. Another save point coming up. The Spectral Veil this time. You're in different parts of the spectral realm each time. Oh, there's a life over there. Need the extra lice. So just run along the side here and get that. 19 lives, who'd have thought it, eh? Can I get across it? There, yes! Now, I think this is where we'll find Thingy, Clyde, and some of them just jump off. Oh, a nice big wedge. Uh, excuse me, uh, Munchie? Did I hear something, a uh, tiny squeak? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the big red ghost gets itself all caged up, so the yellow fella gets the mark. Go on then, Munchie, mark away. Aw, oh, don't take it like that. It's not like I find it funny or anything, Clyde. Well, not much, only a little. Are you okay, Clyde? <laughs> Sarcasm. All right, that's it. I don't need rescuing. Nope. Leave me here. I'll take dignity over freedom any day. <laughs> oh, you're just no fun. Hold on a sec. I'll be right there. Oh, there's the clay contact point. Big. Oh, red crystal will be needed soon. Okay, we've got to basically find a way to get Clyde out of there. There's more blinker platforms to the next one. So we'll not. I don't know if they're fake or if you can actually open it at all. Those ones sticking out of the rock. I'm just getting everything here before continuing because it's a right hassle to get back. Oh fuck, I fell off. That was a silly mistake to make. And now I've got to go collect all those things again. That's a bit stupid for falling off. Of course, when you collect a bit of fruit, you don't need to recollect that, so that's good. That's our way out over there. Where we've got to free Clyde first. Okay. Some more to the more obscure location there. Oh, you'll get the odd blank uh, blinker platform like this. 
Red crystal obtained. Turn the camera and back we go. So of course that red thing is going to take us to over there. Nice long chain machine though. Or well, whatever it's going to take us. It's going to take us somewhere. It's a really long one. I think I've just got boop, 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 boop. Oh, up here. Oh, another wedge. Plenty of wedges up here, I can tell you. Alright, okay, so start on. Oh, now this is where sometimes you might have to fight a battle. Um, turn a spectral creature blue by. Okay. Sometimes you might have to battle ghosts. Um, a blue spectral creature can be destroyed by hitting it, but never Sonic Boo. Okay, so sometimes you might find you have to um, use Clyde to take out the enemies. It's hard to control. Wow, ah, fuck. If you lose all the health, you have to re summon him. Again, for some random reason. And apparently, he has more health. But he just has an increase in health. Ah, there we go. Clyde's Super Scare can be used to damage certain features of the environment. Use Square to activate Clyde's Super Scare. So you basically stand here. Thanks, Munchie. Looks like you have your uses after all. <laughs> hey, less of the Munchie, okay? <laughs> Easy now. I don't mean nothing by it. I'm just a little on edge because my boys Inky and Blinky have gone AWOL, and I'm betting the freak that caged me up has them too. Oh. Right now, I'm just trying to get rid of some spectral siphons and to stop this realm collapsing around our ears. <laughs> siphons? Like machines? I ain't seen nothing like that. Just a big old swirly thing. That is a scythe. From within the spectral realm, a siphon's effect would be seen as a quasi-pseudo distortion of its atomic fabric. In layman's terms, swirly. Pac-Man, find that swirliness. <laughs> okay, blue crystal. And this will take us back down. Okay, I've got to jump across that. Okay, there we go. I don't think this is a very long pack drop machine, or it might be. Let's go for a ride on the pack dot machine. Taking the most ridiculous of routes. Well, it just takes us back down here. Could have jumped off, but then I would have had all the points. Okay, I think there's some more stuff around here. Whoop. Especially things like this. Even though I don't care about those collector cards things because I don't think they do anything vaguely interesting. I mean, look at that. I just can't get over. I mean, that looks real like a big, weird thing. It's just awesome. The graphics in Pac Man World 3. They're just out of this world. They beat Homeworld any day. Oh, Blinker Platform's coming up next. <coughs> Pardon me. I think we're doing the reverse of what we did earlier. Oh yeah, this is the bit that we were at earlier with Pinky. So we're basically coming at the other opposite side, that's all. So yeah, we're now just repeating a section we did earlier. So, go on. Obviously the area must be slightly different each time. 